this thing still work? What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and imagers? I'm Animagus, and I'm making videos again. Uh, today, I wanted to go over the second part of the first year at a Hogwarts Brilliant event and give you a few quick tips. There's no real need to break down the quest steps. There's no real need to talk about the bundles. It's all pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but there are a few things that I think that you should know in regards to how this Brilliant event is going to work. So this will be a very short-ish guide to the Brilliant event. So you guys can know exactly what to expect starting tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time when this event begins. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're actually gonna go ahead and skip down to the third set of tasks for this particular Brilliant event where you have to get 200 Hogwarts School Family XP. Now, the easiest way to do that is to hold off on placing anything. If you've got something in your pocket, say you see a lot of Professor Sprout, you see a lot of Professor Flitwick, you just hang on to those particular foundables. As soon as you get to step number three, you can go ahead and place those images to get done with that Family XP fairly quickly. Now, it shouldn't take you a lot of time to do this, but in the long run, if you're one of those people who's a speed demon and just likes to go straight through it, you can definitely find a quicker route through it doing that. For step number four, there is a new item. It says collect 10 mystery note pieces from those foundables. So the interesting thing about this is that the mystery note pieces are sort of like the Yule Ball invitations. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything too secretive about them. It doesn't look like there's anything special about them thus far I would like for there to be. I really want the story to continue to progress and I think that it should, but the secret or I guess lack of a secret there for this step is that all you have to do is return those foundables and you will be able to get those mystery note pieces. Once you collect 10 of them and you complete task number four, they will stop spawning. You don't have to get any more. They should only begin during step four or up to step four. And then after step four, when you go to the bonus assignment, it should be completely over, completely done, and you shouldn't have to worry about anything else. On to the bonus assignment. The bonus assignment will have you do a I mean, it's stuff that you're not like unfamiliar with doing, pretty normal things. Uh, for example, defeating seven formidable foes and challenges is something that we've seen in the past. And the best place to find them is going to be in Ruins Chamber 4 to Tower Chamber 4. That is statistically where they are most frequently going to spawn. Once you get into the forest and dark chambers, you're seeing foes that are more along the dangerous and fierce line. So you won't see them in the higher chambers. So Ruins 4 to Tower 4 is where you will find it those formidable foes. And of course, doing 30 good spell casts doesn't mean you have to do exactly 30 good spell casts. It's good or better. So as long as you are hitting good, which really isn't that hard to do at all, then you should have no problem in completing this bonus assignment because the other things are like, you know, playing in your highest unlocked chamber, which a lot of people will be doing and getting a lot of wizarding XP. So one of the cool things again about this particular event will be the boosted spawns. You'll be able to see boosted spawns from the students of each Hogwarts house. That is, of course, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin students. And you will be able to see boosted spawns. Hopefully you might maybe get to see Minerva McGonagall as a spawn as well. That would be really great because she is, of course, worth a lot of that family XP that I mentioned earlier. So if you find a way to place her, that will definitely help you get past that third step. Now... Again, about the mystery note pieces, they will only be dropping from the brilliant foundables of Pomona Sprout and Professor Flitwick. So those are the two spawns that you're going to have to grind to get those 10 mysterious note pieces. And hopefully they will be plentiful because sometimes in the second week of the events, you have a tough time finding those new spawns that are in the wild because the first week and the second week are all lumped together. So pray to RN Jesus for some really good spawn rates this week. Like I said, I'm not really going to go over the bundles because the bundles are kind of meh, whatever. Uh, you're going to get a free tonic for trace detection and some spell energy, which is exactly what they've been doing for a really long time now. So I didn't really expect anything different. Uh, but the bundles are just whatever. You know, it's okay. I guess if you're into that, go for it. If you're not, then 
don't. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There's no need to really dive into it too much. There are very simple, straightforward tasks ahead of us this week, and I hope that you guys get to complete them all and get those sweet, sweet Defense Against the Dark Arts books that everybody is looking for. We have 10 up for grabs this time, so hopefully you can get out there, farm up the spawns that you need, get all of the foundables that you need, prestige a little bit if you get the chance to, see some McGonagall's as well, and all that good stuff. So thank you so much uh, for watching the video. If you want to support the channel in any way possible, you can do so by first of all leaving a thumbs up on the video down below. Hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And make sure that you're checking out some of the social links, things like my Twitter, uh, my Facebook page. I even have a Patreon. If that's something that you're into and you want to support the channel, uh, channel monetarily, I really appreciate every single person who does that. It is incredible, the support that I've seen uh, just over the past months and thankful for this community. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, peace.